hi friends there are some strings when we reverse it also they are same as the original string we call this as palindromes now let's understand how we will check it in php i am entering a string here say i am selling race car so let's check this now this is a race car is a palindrome because if you reverse it it is same as the original string now similarly a b c d e this is another string i am entering this is not a palindrome because reverse it it is not same and when this is applicable to numbers also so we will code this in php we are inside a form now this is a simple html form where it has a text box here and the form submits to itself so the values will be whatever the user has entered it will be available to our php part now you can just see this this is our uh, form blank form so now to this first we'll receive the uh, variable it's a t1 here you can see the name is we have given as t1 i'm giving the name of the variable but i'll receive it in the post method so it's a form is post so post now i am selling t1 so this is now the variable t1 will hold the value whatever the user has entered say if they have not entered anything to check that we'll say str len now t1 str len will return the uh, length of the string is less is uh, less than or equal to or is g now this should be greater than 0 then only we should do the testing if it is not then what we will do we will say else we will say echo now and en enter a string or anything else you want to give you can give now once the user has entered something what you will do we will do one more if check if str -E string reverse this is this will just this is a string function which reverse the string equal to this is a comparison so we will say t1 now what happens in this case in this case that means reverse is also same as the original string so we will say this is a uh, we will declare this we will show the same string again so we will give italic now t1 close this so sorry it is i so is a palindrome fine so this if it is equal not it's a palindrome let me just copy this and what happen if it is not else echo this is not a palindrome so let me just save this that's all let's test this how this code works i am here let me refresh once enter a string because that's what there is a blank so i am telling a b c d this is a string we know it's not a reverse is not same as thing so a b c d is not a palindrome now i am using race car so check the string race car is a palindrome so this is how the basic now we'll slowly move to other part of it now you have seen here we have used one string str rev or a string reverse function that directly reverse it and check it suppose i don't want to use this how i will do we'll see that inside this if condition first let's uh, find out the length so length of the input string whatever the user has entered or we have set it now str len is the function which gives us the string length so t1 so this is it will hold the length of the string entered now we'll another variable we'll create and we'll say t1 reverse so this is the string where uh, which will hold the reverse of the string and these two will compare so now that is fine so now we'll use a for loop for now inside this uh, we'll use a variable now length now this length is the string length whatever we have used minus one this will be in a you will be decrementing it so we'll say dollar i is uh, dollar length dollar i length minus one now this will be greater than equal to zero it will run till the value is reaches equal to zero then it will decrement it starts from the length and it decrements so this is the for loop i will dollar i okay <coughs> so it now this value of str or t1 reverse this variable will add to it so we are adding the string this is equal to t1 uh, now the value of i will take it here now this is just string addition only if you are not complete you can write it t, t sorry this is t1 not t, uh, t1 reverse 
and this is just string addition and I am adding to the same string the value taken. So this will pick up the, it will start from the right to left. So the last car it will pick up and add to this, then next car, then next loop, next car, till the entire length is exhausted. Now I have the value of the reverse of the string as T1 reverse. Now instead of comparing it here, I will compare with now with T1 reverse, T1 so now this if this is equal to this now let me just scroll up a bit fine so this is our code so that's all if this is the list of the thing will remain same let's uh, check it now once i will just refresh it enter a string i am telling a b c d check the string a b c d is not a palindrome now again we'll use something else madam so madam is a palindrome so this is how without using reverse we can uh, check it now this is equally valid for a number also let's try that also so we'll say one two three four sorry 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 one two three four now check the string one two three four is not this thing so now let us say one two three four three two one so this should be a palindrome because is a palindrome fine now will this is because the whatever we enter is also considered as a string now exclusively a number also we can check it now we'll see that next before we move to the number let's make this form sticky means the whatever the user enters the value after submission also that value should hold so for that we have to keep this also in our php area let's remove the or extend the php area here put a echo here so i am this form is within the uh, PHP code. Now this also I have to ship to the top. So before that I must read this value. So now that is fine. Here I will say input type value equal to T1. So I will just give the uh, fine. So it is available here. Now that's all. Let's see that uh, the form sticks the value or not. I am here. I'll just refresh it again. Enter a value A, B, C, D, E. Okay. So now check the string. Yeah. So this is sticking now. So again, madam, check the string. It is it's holding the value. So a sticky form. This will continue to use it. Now we'll move to the number. To check a number, we'll divide it into uh, or we'll use two variables. Here, what we will do, we'll first We'll remove this part this is will get reverse in another way so we'll say uh, t2 equal to t1 we need oh, sorry t1 we need one more variable for that so you holds the value t2 here we are at the top we are getting it t1 value from the form now once this is there we'll also keep the t1 reverse t1 reverse equal to 0 we'll keep it so because now it is all numeric now what you will say will say that while uh, t1 is greater than 0 because will, the value will be changing it now let's keep the fine we'll find out a reminder of a division or that we call it modulus so equal to now t1 sorry 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 here equal to t1 modulus you will divide it by 10 this is how we will get the all the digits of a uh, digits from the number i will just write it reminder if this divide by 10 the reminder if you if its number is 1 2 3 then first when you divide it the 3 will come out so now we'll left with 2 so that that what is what we'll be using so we'll say dollar t1 underscore reverse this is the variable where you will be storing the reverse is equal to t1 reverse multiplied by 10 plus sorry plus d now this is this will hold the value sorry this is variable d this will hold the value in the reverse step by step so first digit it will take from the right now we'll say this T1 will itself will change. T1 is equal to floor. 
the floor is a math function which takes the lowest integer of it suppose you we are dividing uh, 13 uh, divided by 2 so 13 by 2 means it is 6 point something the 6 will be the output so floor will always give us the uh, lowest integer after the division divide by 10 sorry divide by 10 now this will be will also write it floor value floor value we are taking now this again this will loop till it becomes zero or all the this is how this will nothing we are just extracting the digits from the uh, input value so now that is this part is okay over now if t1 reverse equal to t2 we hear the comparison at t2 because t1 itself we are changing it here so that is why we took it a value as t2 another variable we stored the value now we'll compare with that because every time because of this while loop t1 value will keeps on de changing so decrementing so we can't compare it here so now this also will say t2 now let's scroll down a bit here it is we'll say t2 is not palindrome so rest of the things should remain same t1 reverse signs okay let's test it how it works i am here i will just let me the once run it again uh, unexpected in line 20 what happened 1920 something i missed echo is not a palindrome else so uh, while now this is the length i am checking t1 reverse while this is true now sorry here i removed that length checking one i have to put it that one so t1 reverse find t2 here i will say if if str len now t1 or t2 i can do is greater than zero then only this thing should work now i will entire code i am keeping it within that so now this thing should work entire string let's see go back i'm again running it okay entire string now i will say it's a number one two three four let's see what check a string one two three four is not a palindrome fine one two three four three two one let's see what this is okay this is another way of checking it because we have broken the number or a string into taken out the digits one by one one by one and use this to and create a reverse number of it and you can see the reverse number holds is here t1 reverse is a number and that we are comparing it so this is how different different ways we can check a number or a string whether it's a palindrome or not.